in the early 50s, we had uh, James Vickery put popcorn and Coca-Cola on Kim Novak's face, and it caused an outrage. Uh, the public got very nervous and very excited about it. Television and radio stations openly admitted that they were experimenting with it. And, and this led to statements like uh, those by Norman Cousins that condemned subliminal as the most dangerous technology to have ever been developed by man. The advent of new technology, positon emission tomography, enhanced uh, magnetic resonance imaging, etc., and we're seeing a whole lot of new research come out, shows us what areas of the brain are excited by subliminal stimulation. We can look at things like anorexia and bulimia, and say, as far as I'm concerned, you can look at that and say this is a media-driven event. Our society, largely driven in part by advertisers motivating us to consume, we end up with the fifth drop. More. More. Comcast has more HD. Save money. Live better. Talk as much as you want. We systematically desensitize their threshold of arousal by increasing the amount of stimuli that we deliver that is sexual or violent or gross in nature. And so the more begins with I want more stimulation. And then it continues through everything else, whether it's more food, more alcohol and drugs, more cars, more money, more power, more women, more, 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 more. If we can get a critical mass of people thinking a direction, it will influence and change the rest of the world. Meditators have lowered crime rates in Washington, D.C. by a sufficient number thinking pieces.